Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, creating change in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for joining us for the On The Run edition of Politini. We are live here in Denver, Colorado for the 27th annual Creating Change Conference with the Task Force. We're so excited to be here. Hi, I'm Danielle Moody Mills. And I'm Aisha Moody Mills. And we're serving your politics and pop culture all weekend long here at Creating Change. So there is so much that goes into bringing together a thousand activists and celebrities and thought leaders to network and fellowship and strategize all over the course of one weekend. And we are going to bring you the dish behind the scenes here at Creating Change. With us we have Russell Royball and also Sue Hyde who are the Creating Change leads and essentially the masterminds mm -hmm. behind <laughs> everything that you see happening here at this conference. Mm. So please give us the dish. Yes, we want to know you guys have been busy bees, I'm sure, yes. over the past several months. Tell us what goes into making Creating Change such a wildly successful event. Well, the, uh, Creating Change, I think, is successful because people really love it. And there, uh, you'll see while you're here, people, are, people put this on their calendar to come to because there is no other place like it True. in the LGBTQ movement. It is by far probably the most, if not... Uh, one of the most, if not the most diverse uh, gatherings in the LGBTQ movement. Uh, our tagline at the task force is to be you and we want people to come here to Creating Change and be whoever they are and we're going to celebrate it. Yeah. Love so it. I, I just want to tag on a little bit to what Russell said. So <clears throat> this is a space where people can speak their minds, people can hear from others, uh, people can network, mm. they can organize, mm -hmm. they can learn, they can grow, and they can cruise. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like how, I like how that was like the last, yeah. the tail end thing that you can do. Very nice. Those things, well are, not, those things are not in rank order either. No? So. And they may not be in the agenda either. So those of us cruisers come here <laughs> and we know that we can do all of that and more behind the scenes. But I'd like to know how many people does it really take to pull this thing off? How many people do you have busying behind the scenes yeah, to make this happen? Volunteers, staff. Well, yeah. uh, Two of us work all year round on creating two change. Two. No, no, actually, actually not me. Um, oh. it's, Another it's, staff it's me and the assistant conference director, the fabulous Daniel Pino. Uh, so we work all year round. And then on site, we have a conference management team of task force staff that is about 20. So the reason that Russell and I can sit here and look beautiful and cool and calm and collected <laughs> is we have a great team backing us up in every aspect of the conference. So uh, the volunteer team that is recruited and organized in the local host city numbers here in Denver about 400. Oh wow! And we and we wow. couldn't and we couldn't do the conference yes. without them. We have a great host committee that's led by four amazing co-chairs. Uh, probably about over 50 people on the host committee. They've been recruiting community housing hosts, volunteers, uh, uh, getting programming submitted yeah. from uh, all parts of Colorado. Orga really organizing our, our worship services. Well, tell us about yeah. some of the highlights gonna, that we what, what are some of the fantastic things that people can look forward to this weekend? Yeah. Well, we have a great opening plenary with Rinku Sen and Rashad Robinson tonight. Woot woot. Uh, talking about Ferguson on our minds uh, and the connections between racial justice and the LGBTQ movement. Mm. As LGBTQ people, as a person of color, that we cross everything, right? Yeah. So tonight we're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna engage in dialogue around it. Uh, this conference is a place, it's like the leading edge of mm. the LGBTQ movement. Mm -hmm. I like that. Where we talk about things that might be provocative, things that, uh, that might be, that might sound different or unusual in terms of what people consider a traditional LGBT issue. But we know at the task force, that we, we cross all of those boundaries, all of those demographics. And so tonight we're going to kick it off with R R Rinku and Rashad. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Ray Carey, our executive director, is going to give... Fearless Leader. Fearless yeah. Leader. Fearless leader yeah. Is going to give the annual State of the Movement address. Uh -huh. Saturday, we're doing a panel at our general session on reproductive justice and mobilizing for reproductive justice. All, all women of color. All women of color. Brilliant. And on Sunday, we're sending people home with the Cleo Parker Robinson Dance Ensemble, a black dance theater group based here 
uh, in Colorado. It's fantastic. I love how diverse. I love That's how diverse this conference thing, actually, is. That's my favorite thing, actually, about creating yeah. change. Is this is probably the most diverse conference that I ever attend throughout you the year. You know what I like to say? Yeah. It's the largest and most diverse gathering, uh, political gathering, mm -hmm. of LGBTQ people in the known universe. <laughs> I think that you're that's correct. That's true. And that should be the tagline all the time. Yeah. <laughs> in, the no, in the known universe, in the cosmos. Right. So We're when all is said and done, yes. when are you going to start planning the next one? Well, we already started. Oh my goodness. We are going to be Can in, you tell us where yes. it's going to be? Where we are going to be in the great city of Chicago. Oh! oh. The city of big shows. In yes. February in of February? next year, you're taking us to Chicago. It's going to, no, no, not February. It's going to be in balmy <laughs> January. <laughs> I'll be ready. swimming in the lake. January 20th through 24th in uh, in Chicago at the Hilton Chicago and Towers. Okay. Nice. And they'll have tunnels so that yes. we'll never have to go outside and to it, go to a restaurant right. or anything like that. The first time we've ever been in Chicago. We have been wanting to go to Chicago for years. Oh, wow. And so we are very excited to be able to take the conference there. Then the community there is really, really hungry for it. Well, we are excited to partake in everything that you guys have planned for us, and we really appreciate you and all of your efforts. And oh wait, we have to. We have to know after this is all said and done. Oh, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. all four days of creating change. What do you do to unwind? Ah, well, how, yeah. how are each of you going to recuperate and celebrate? Mm. Tell want, the people uh, the truth. Yes, I just want to say that what I do rhymes with the name of your show, Palatini. Martini. Uh, Martini. <laughs> good woman. <laughs> oh, you're funny laughing. Like, <laughs> I've been waiting for a good joke from her all week. <laughs> going to sleep uh, yeah. because I haven't had a lot of that this week and will continue to not have a lot uh, through the weekend uh, and uh, probably sit at home in my apartment in New York next week and get on Seamless and order really bad food. <laughs> yeah. <Yum. laughs> All right, Yum. bad food, martinis, that's how I unwind on, <laughs> on an average Friday. So I'm so excited that you guys took a minute out of your incredibly busy day to chat with us, to chat with us to yes. and to pleasure. bring us the behind the scenes look at creating change. Can you, can you tell that we've known each other a long time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, can I just say something? I just want to say something. <clears throat> Russell Roybal was my intern. Oh. oh and, wow. now, and now she's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both so much for Very joining us. Politini's on the run edition. And yes. thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, Creating Change in Denver, Colorado.